array. So array is the one of the derived data type which is the collection of similar types of elements and which are stored in a contiguous memory location. What is string? String is a null terminated character array. Strings are collection of all characters with uh, ended with null character. Difference between pointer and array. I already told about that uh, one definition about pointer and array. So you can say that also and one uh, another uh, difference uh, syntax wise. So for array you can say like uh, syntax is uh, like data type variable name and in brackets elements and for pointers data types and multiplication sign for using pointers and variable name the function in the function is a set of instructions placed together for performing a specific task in code so why we use this function in our c code because by using the function we can avoid the rewriting the code again and again in our program so what is the arguments or parameters so for calling the function to send the some values to call that function so these values are called as argument or parameters what are the actual arguments so argument mentioned in the function call so which is the called as the actual arguments and what are the formal arguments so arguments mentioned in the function definition then it is called as a uh, formula what is the difference between call by value and call by reference in call by value when you pass the copy of that value to the functions it will not modify to the original value then it's called call by value in another side in call by reference when you pass that copy of value to any functions then it will modify to the original value then it is affect to modi uh, modification of any variable then it is called as a call by reference what is the recursion in c so recursion means when a function calls itself in uh, programming then it's uh, called recursion what are the advantages of that recursion so by using recursion we can reduce the code size and uh, make code more compact and uh, a disadvantage of this recursion is like uh, it is very difficult to trace the code what are the storage classes storage classes in addition to data type each variable has one more attribute so it's called as the storage type this extra additional attributes means lifetime scope visibility initial value uh, storage place so that are all attributes uh, contain storage class what are the different types of that storage class there are four types extend auto register and static so you can go in detail that four types so what are the command line argument in c the argument which passed through the main function during the execution of code so it is called as a command line argument what is the dynamic memory allocation so dynamic memory allocation it will allocate the memory during the runtime and memory can be increased and decreased during the execution runtime process so you can give example like uh, in C having calloc and malloc this function used for allocating the memory uh, for dynamic. What is the static memory allocation? So this static memory allocation it is like uh, memory allocated at a compile time. So you can't uh, increase and decrease that memory during the execution of code. Okay. What is the difference between malloc and calloc? In malloc the allocated memory is not initialized to zero but in calloc allocated memory is initialized to zero so we can say malloc is a faster in code but calloc is in a safer in a code so what is the memory leak in c if we lose the best address of that uh, dynamically allocated memory so we can say that memory can be leaked if it occurs when programmers create a memory in heap sections then and when then after it uh, forgot to delete it what is the structure structure is a one of the user defined data type which is the collection of different types of data which are stored in a contiguous memory location what is the self referential structure in c if in one structure one of the member is the pointer of that same structure type then that structure called as a self-referential structure what are the bit field structure so bit fields are mechanism in c where we can allocate the memory for storing the data in the 
form of bits. So bit field variable can be declared in the only structure or union. Outside of then we can't declare the bit fields variable. What is the structure padding? It is the very important question every interviewer asks what is the structure padding? So allocating extra bytes for that structure variable than the required one it is called as a structure padding. So that the extra unused byte it's called holes in a structure okay so this part of like unused extra byte it is part of structure padding how to avoid that structure padding so you can use uh, pragma pack for that uh, structure padding avoiding so there is a syntax like example hash pragma pack in bracket one by using that attribute you can avoid the extra allocated memory what is mean by union in C. So union is a one of the user defined data type which is the collection of different data types but that is the stored in a same memory location. What is the difference between that structure and union? Okay so we can say also definition wise also there is a memory store in a structure like a, in a contiguous way and in union memory storage is like in the same location okay there is a one difference and another difference in c programming we used for structure uh, struct keyword and in union we used the union keyword for uh, coding okay and another main difference is we can uh, access individual member at a time in a structure but in union we can access only one member at a time what is the type def in C? Type def is one of the user defined data type which is declared the another name of the existing data type in C. So what is the enum? Enum is the one of the user defined data type which is providing to the name of the constant. So it is the collection of uh, integer constant. So what is the file? File is the name location where we can store the data of that file permanently. So what is the macros in C? So what, macros is nothing but it is the preprocessor directive. It is replaced by at a compile time by preprocessor stage. Okay, what is the difference between has defined and the type def? Has defined is nothing but it is the preprocessor directive and type def is the nothing but user defined data type. And has defined action takes place in a preprocessor stage and type def action takes place in a translator stage. But has defined is uh, used for like replacement is available but in type def there is no replacement takes place. Here one more question is there in header file whether function declared or function defined. So there I am going to clear that point in header file always function declaration is uh, available and function definitions are available in a library. So one more another question asked by uh, interviewer. So which one is the faster like n++ or n++ in a code. So you can say that in n++ uh, like executing it will take only one machine cycle but in n++ it will take more machine cycle. So n++ is a faster than n++. Next question what is the size of empty structure in a C? So answer is a 0. Okay, what are the memory segments are available in a C language? There are four memory segments are available. First, uh, core segment, data segment, heap segment and stack segment. Yeah.